Hello folks, Monk Cheetah back here. I'm doing a little metal detecting in a spot that just recently started getting logged, a piece of state land. So I'm gonna see if I can find anything easy through the tracks, but this is a beautiful piece of property, but I already found one thing just as I got here. This giant, I think it was a tow chain at one time. I wish I had the other end because I would put it in the old monk cheetah vehicle, the Jeep, and use it. But I'm going to break this rusty chain and run. That's Johnny Cash, if you didn't know. Good song. But I'll get back to you if I find anything super great or maybe not super great. All right, folks, I think I did find something good. My second fine or good fine anyway. I believe I broke it. I believe it's a piece of a boot buckle. It came up pretty good on the Garrett 400. I think I might have broke it when I was using the shovel. It's This was a natural cart path, I believe, for this property. And this makes sense that it would be right here. But I think there's a little fancy on it. Definitely from a buckle. That's what I think I can determine for sure but it is hot out here it's very humid today probably about 70% humidity so hopefully I can find that other piece cleaned to it. up the cleaned it up a little bit I'm pretty sure it's copper or brass it rang, it rang up on the Garrett 400 here it rang up consistently with 49 to 50, 49 to 50. So it was almost the same tone that me and the crew got on the one episode, Sheep Farm Part Two, when we found the whole colonial buckle. But this was a surprise to find. I, I didn't expect to find too much, but like I, I've hunting and I used to hunt in this area for turkey. Um, so I knew this was the main old trail on the maps. So this was somewhere to find something like that coming through here. On to the next find. Okay, I'm kind of in off off of the woods and Probably would have been the farmer's field. And I found a pretty good target down here. It was pretty deep. Rang up really good on the, the Garrett 400. I, don't, I think it might be a part of a, a buckle. I mean, it's, it's sturdy. It rang up really nice. It could have been horse tack maybe. Uh, that's the back of it. I'm going to go over back over with the uh, Garrett to see if this is the only piece in the hole. All right, I'm not too far from that last hole where I dug the little brass piece. I'm over here, and I'm pretty sure this is a, a piece of a bridle to a horse. It is the ring, or it could be from oxen. Who knows? But I'm getting getting some good signals around this little patch of earth here. I'm gonna keep trying. Well, I don't know if you can tell, I'm on a large overlook. I was down there, you probably saw some video I was filming up. And now I'm pretty much to the top of the, the ridge line. There's a nice river down here. Beautiful area. I could just imagine back in the day that this could have been an area for Native Americans. And, and uh, the residents up here would definitely be a nice little area to camp out.
All right, I think I found something. Another, I guess my third real good find. It wasn't very deep. You can see this is, this is stone right here. It's like one big stone, but can you see it? Right here. It's a button, pretty crusty. A little bit, bit of it is broken. I could have broke it, I don't know. It's an old button. I'll see if I can clean it up a little bit and see if there's anything on it. It wasn't very deep. I'm following this probably old logging road or cart road. This piece of property goes back to the 1600s, so let me see if I can clean it up. All right, folks. Not far from where I just found the button. I finally found, I think, is a coin. Again, this ground, I'm swinging my detector. is like one giant rock underneath here. Probably because uh, the ledge was right over to the right of me, but it was not that deep, but it was tough to get at. You see it right here? Look at it. Oh, yeah. I think it could be a newer quarter. I don't even know have my glasses on, but it's a... It's a coin. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it's a quarter for sure. We'll see what year it is. I might get my glasses on. I can't really get a date off it. Even my glasses. Like I said, the humidity's up. My glasses are fogging over, but what did we see here? 1970? I think it says 1970. That's a good year. I was one years old. 1970. Well, I'll take it. On to the next coin, I hope. Or button, or relic. I'm not picking. Alright, folks. That's where I found my last quarter. Believe it or not, I came up the road here maybe 20 feet. Got a great tone. I can see it right here. I just, it's a little easier digging. But can you see it? Right there. I haven't really touched it. As soon as I saw it, I don't know. Yep, it's another quarter. 50 cents richer. I don't know the year, because I put my glasses away. But see if we can see it on camera. I don't know, but another quarter. This road is uh, paying off so far. I got half a buck. On to the next. Let's see if I can get a date. I'll let you know. All right, folks, Monk Cheetah back here with today's wrap up of what I found. Well, let's start with the six shotgun shells. They always fool me, but what's unique about these, these have cardboard backing, so those are pretty old. And it appears to me it could have been some the same hunter out there over the years shooting because I found them in generally the same area um, I found this I could have been a door hinge maybe for a cattle door or a door for farming who knows I believe this is a bridle piece of a bridle it could have came off of a for the oxen or horses who knows and of course I had to get the can't go in the woods without finding some nails. A couple bottle caps, I don't know what they are, but came up good on the detector. Thought they were quarters because I found them right where the quarters were. I know one is a 1970. I'm going to put a little caliper on there now. Uh, and the other one, I couldn't get the date off of yet. Maybe if I do, I'll post it. And the good stuff here is this, I believe it's a copper brass shoe buckle I found this piece afterwards I don't know if they go together it could have been maybe that's why he lost it and this colonial button I believe it's colonial pretty crusty a little, little shank still on in the back I met a gentleman on the way out of the woods he was fishing at the pond when my brother almost drowned and uh, he had a nice Jeep you can see it at the end of the video I uh, hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe. Leave me some comments. Like I say, at the end of every video, you never know what you're going to find. Let me take a walk.
in the woods of New England. Monk Cheater out.